India is the largest milk producer. and the second largest producer of fruit and vegetables in the world. It also roughly accounts for wastage of these worth 44,000 crore rupees or almost a staggering 7 billion US dollars annually. This food loss and wastage is mainly connected to financial, managerial and technical limitations in storage and cooling facilities in our difficult climatic conditions. This in turn leads to a negative impact on the farmer as well as the environment. Farmers lose time, energy and money and undue pressure is put on natural resources and the ecosystem due to pollution through food discards. Copious amounts of rotted foods are tossed mindlessly into landfills and this is a global travesty of massive proportions. When wasted food is thrown away and breaks down in landfills, together with the organic materials, it becomes the main contributor to the generation of methane, a gas notorious for trapping heat in the atmosphere and one of the leading culprits of global warming. Excessive inputs of nutrients is a primary cause of eutrophication of surface waters in which excess nutrients, usually nitrogen and phosphorus, cause algae to grow faster than ecosystems can handle. Significant increase in algae harm water quality, food resources and habitats and decrease the oxygen that aquatic life needs to survive. Large growth of algae called algal blooms can severely reduce or entirely eliminate oxygen in the water leading to illnesses and the death of a large number of fish. Some algal blooms are harmful to humans as well for they produce elevated toxins and bacterial growth. India's food production cycle or supply chain has a significant impact on our carbon footprint. Soil, water, natural resources and energy are used to produce, transport, distribute and market food products. When food is wasted, the energy and resources invested by the supply chain to deliver food to our pantry and plates is lost. In India, the food supply chain is responsible for approximately 30% of India's total greenhouse gas emissions, making it the second highest emissions generating activity after power generation. This includes direct emissions from agriculture and those attributed to energy, transport, food production, processing and distribution. New Leaf Dynamic Technologies Private Limited, after four years of in-house research and development, have developed the Green Chill. हमारी कंपनी ने पिछले पांच साल की रिसर्च से एक आविष्कार किया है जिससे कि अब 10 टन फल फूल सब्जी या हजार लीटर का दूध को ठंडा कर सकते हैं और इसके लिए आपको बिजली की जरूरत नहीं है। An off-grid compressor less and renewable energy powered refrigeration system that uses farm waste like biogas, cow dung, cakes, biomass pellets, dead wood, husk, hay, bamboo waste etc. or biomass gasifiers as well as waste heat of generators for cooling. Green Chill can cool 500 to 1000 litres of milk and 5 to 10 metric tonnes of fruit, vegetables, flowers, fish and other horticultural produce without using grid power and diesel generator backup. With over four years of in-house R&D effort, we have developed a product called Green Chill. So Green Chill is an off-grid and a renewable energy powered food storage meant to store produce at the first mile of our food supply chain. So this was installed last uh, in August 2014 and it has been running successfully by the, by the dairy owner. Our second installation is in uh, Odisha and through our R&D effort we have been able to minimize the energy efficiency of green chill by 33% and also reduce the, the footprint of green chill by one third. So we, we want to continue our R&D and to move, uh, have a different product range where we can store anywhere from 20 metric tons to 10 to 30 metric tons of fruits or vegetables or any, any other temperature sensitive horticulture produce and also at the same time uh, store anywhere from 2,000 to 5,000 liters of milk in a pulp milk. The system has been built to store agricultural produce at the village or farm level before it is transported to markets or processing facilities. 
It can be integrated with new or existing industrial standard cold storage and bulk milk coolers. New Leaf's refrigeration technology complies with the standards of the United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change, Kyoto Protocol 2020, as it uses ammonia for cooling which has zero global warming potential. Green Chill would directly benefit small marginal farmers as well as producer cooperatives who can use this refrigeration technology to safely store their produce until it is ready to be taken to the market. I have been to Arunachal, I have been to Shillong, I have travelled all across North East. I have seen farmers producing fruits and other farm products in large numbers and then farmers sell away those farm products at throwaway prices because they don't have cold, enough cold storage facilities. So if this product is installed in the farms of North East India, means the farmers can develop themselves to, to professional far, organic farmers. Means we can actually start a proper herd Develop North East India as a hub for horticultural farming or organic farming. So I feel this technology has big potential to change the farming scenario in North East. Thereby reducing food wastage and maintaining a high quality of agricultural produce leading to a higher price realization. Green Chill can be operated in any part of the country without any interruption. The system has been designed and engineered to work optimally with market standard cold rooms and bulk milk coolers without requiring any customization. This brings in more income to the agricultural sector by minimizing food wastage, thereby making the rural economy prosperous. Each unit of Green Chill generates a direct employment of two to three unskilled people or those with minimal skills for operation and waste collection. In addition to this, the enhanced supply chain generates more jobs. Through improved prosperity at the village level, education and employment opportunities also improve, which is an indirect benefit. Greenchill uses renewable energy for cooling, which leads to reduction in use of GHG emissions, a leading cause for environmental deterioration to improve energy security.